So good evening and welcome to the Media Lounge Forum here in Milan for World Series of Boxing Week. I'm Richard Witzel and I'll take you through the rest of the exciting matchups this evening. Just at the moment, we've got our non evening to us. It is a packed audience. Wonderful forum here, south of Milan. And uh, the fans have arrived in numbers because they've come to cheer on their favorites, Dolce Gabbana. They are the defending champions. They welcome German Eagles who uh, set the thunder, considered one of the favorites, of course, this season, having uh, won the, the competition last year for, during the summer, brought in a number of uh, new, certainly in the, uh, the builds up to the, this uh, competition, the evening throughout the week here in Milan. They have been uh, making the tours and uh, living up to the, the name of their, their sponsors, very stylish. They've been out in the city centre, giving the, the press and uh, drawing the fans in uh, th this evening. And certainly uh, they want to get off to a good positive start, as do the German Eagles. Uh, They've set their sights on definitely getting through to the knockout stages. It is uh, the top row, and uh, five teams in each group. So a long way to go, 10 matches. And of course, uh, the finals next May. But uh, in the meantime, we're just having the, the introductions here from uh, our announcer and uh, the various dignitaries that earlier on there, the, the rest of the, uh, the uh, Italia Thunder team who are in the audience and as well have uh, brought their team with them for their support. But of course, uh, the support will be for the, uh, the home side. And uh, our announcer just uh, going through the, the, uh, the fixtures for us. Uh, two groups, of course, uh, the rankings uh, for each very important group A. And uh, in group B were Dolce and Cabana, Italia Thunder, are based along with the uh, German Eagles, British uh, Lion Heart, USA knockouts uh, yesterday, and uh, NLA. So they've set out their stall very early in the competition and uh, showing that they could be a real threat as well. And uh, we have uh, and Astana of uh, Kazakhstan, who uh, defeated the Ukraine Ottomans. A very close contest. That was 3 2. And uh, so this evening here in Milan, we're uh, to pick up their three points, we'll just have a look here at the uh, the card for this evening. We've got the, the bantam weight, uh, will get us going, and uh, certainly that uh, that's going to be an interesting uh, competition in the, the bantam weight when we uh, get the announcement of the uh, the competitors for that. Then we have the lightweight, middleweight, uh, light, heavy, and heavy to uh, to close the evening for us, and uh, each part five rounds of three minutes. So it gives the, the fighters a little bit of time to get into, into the competition and uh, they don't need to rush things, but they can uh, certainly just bring themselves into the uh, into the bout. And uh, of course, as we've seen through the last two seasons, uh, it has been a wonderful competition. Uh, it's non-stop action, really. Uh, if you're watching World Series of Boxing, that's what it's given us. We're just uh, seeing the, the German team arrive. The, the German flag flying proudly, and uh, their five boxers will take the ring to be introduced to us. And certainly, the German Eagles, it's a young and inexperienced one that uh, it, is producing, uh, they feel that, that they can produce shocks this uh, season and uh, progress forward. And, uh, but, a boxer from uh, the Thunder in the summer. He will be up first against uh, Vincenzo Pe Picardi. But uh, a big round of applause for uh, the Germans, and uh, there's going to be a net, an even bigger round of applause. They're a confident bunch, aren't they? They're uh, they've led by uh, one of the greats, of, of course, of uh, Italian boxing, world boxing as well, Francesco. Damiani he is their head coach and he's bringing so much experience to the team and uh, the, the, uh, each of the boxers were saying what a pleasure it was to work with him and uh, certainly to, to see them through and a lot of these uh, boxers especially for uh, uh, Dolce Gabbana, Italia Thunder have got experience at the highest levels, world championships, Olympic Games of course 
and uh, they know what it's like to be in the big time and uh, certainly last season they were at the World Series of Boxing in London where they came away with the title and before uh, uh, before we went on air, they paraded the, the cup around the ring to great applause at passionate Italian fans. They love their, their boxing in this part of the world, as they do right through Italy. So we're just going to get introduced to the, the local fans, looking to see Charles uh, Suarez as well in action. And uh, he was uh, a rival in the summer. Uh, it's a nice mix of Italian and, uh, and the Clemente Russo, who is a real showman, and we'll see him later on. Um, uh, a man so full of confidence, uh, came away from the Olympics with a, a silver medal, of course. And there are uh, the coaches, and uh, certainly plenty of experience on uh, both sides of the ring in terms of the coaching staff of his, uh, with Francesco Damiani's course pedigree Italian team uh, for the third consecutive year and we're just going to have the uh, national anthems for you first up the German We'll have uh, obviously the Italian national anthem. Well, you always feel that uh, these two national anthems, the German national anthem, the Italian national anthem, very stirring, um, both of them. And uh, that's the presentations over for us, the uh, box for the, the first bout. And uh, certainly it is a, a wonderful matchup. I was alluring to that. Vicenzo Picardi for Thunder and uh, Vasilev uh, Goyan, who was at the Thunder last year, the German Eagles. In the, in the summer, and uh, they're great friends, and and uh, they were roommates at uh, the Thunder last year, and they were talking of the respect that they hold for each other in the in the build up to this uh, this bout, and certainly they're, they're both of them feel that they are on the top of their top of their game. They've, they've been training really well coming into this and uh, into this contest, fully focused, and knowing that how important it is to get off to a winning start for your team as well well he was uh, 
He's uh, got a five and one record in uh, World Series of Boxing and uh, 29 year old and very, very experienced uh, competitor. We got to the last 16 in the Olympic Games and uh, Vasilev in London. And uh, he's a two and two record in uh, the competition. Both uh, competitors are 29 as well. So, uh, and uh, very even. And uh, the, cardi, the taller man with uh, Goyen is only uh, one meter 61. While uh, Picardi 173, you know, just a better reach than, uh, than his opponent from uh, Moldova. But uh, the Italian knows that. Uh, he so we're just waiting for uh, the competitors have gone back into the dressing rooms. They are getting their final instructions. And uh, it's a full house this evening here. And. Uh, Certainly, the uh, the fans of travel. The, the uh, not to, the, obviously the foreign boxers or Italian boxers are uh, from from the south, from the heartland in Campania of uh, Italian boxing, and uh, they've, they've been travelling up. And uh, early on, I was from uh, Casoria, which is uh, Vincenzo Bacardi's uh, hometown in the, the province of Naples and uh, they made the trip up last night they enjoyed the sights of Milan and they're getting ready for a wonderful evening of boxing this evening and I don't think they're going to be disappointed Goyan with uh, Eagles and uh, he knows that uh, tonight he's back on the home to presenting the Eagles rather than the, the, uh, the Thunder. It's, and as we said, as he had said before, in the, the build up, he feels in great shape and he certainly looks at uh, completely toned and uh, coming in, just uh, weighing over 51 kilos. Uh, upper body looks uh, well toned as well. Let's have a look here at his profile. As we said, what one two lost two. So uh, he knows uh, what it's like to, to take the glory and also the, the defeat. But uh, as I said, 29 years old, a, a tough character, and uh, up against his old friend who's just about to make his entrance. Vincenzo Picardi, and here comes Vincenzo Picardi, and uh, looking apart, doesn't it? As we keep saying, Bolce Gabbana, they have uh, really raised the, the uh, and uh, that is why they've uh, all around the world, the fan following the, this team from all over the globe, and uh, comes in and he's uh, there's a little dancer in the, the centre of the ring. Just have a look there at it. his record as well, five and one. Coming to a, not a bad competitor in Joe Nevin, and uh, and that was a back Nevin season. So uh, his defeat has come to one of the, the big stars of uh, World Series of Boxing, and since then he's gone on the on on a five bout winning streak, and uh, he looks in excellent shape. Uh, both boxers do, and uh, as we know, it's high paced right from the start. Five rounds, five three-minute rounds, but the, there is no holding back. And uh, this was one of the great draws uh, for World Series of Boxing. The, uh, the boxers don't wait to, to uh, sort of seek each other out. They go straight in there and uh, no holding back. And that's that we've uh, enjoyed over the last two years. And uh, we feel that's what's going to continue this, uh, this year. So, uh, Final bit of uh, Vaseline there to uh, the eyes of uh, Goyan. Uh, tense enough, one feels, coming up against his old friend. It's uh, a great contest, a smile there from Goyan. <laughs> Referee, the final instructions for uh, both fighters. 
And that will be ready to go. So World Series of Boxing gets going again here in Milan, Italy. And uh, just at the start here, Bicardi in the more aggressive. Both boxers taking the orthodox stance. And, uh, left there from Bicardi. But uh, Goyan forward holding the center of the ring. Dropping back and uh, as I said before, both uh, land the first punch you feel that's going to be so important and an aggressive start maybe a little bit tense there from Goyan yeah took a wild swing there missed the target completely Cardi just making sure his guard is high front of the face little jab forward there but uh, forced back in the corner but quick movement and able to take that uh, more central position now and come forward leaning in abs just to keep uh, going at a distance comes in with a punch down low and downstairs early on it's again and, uh, Goyan comes forward it's Bacardi under the rings Bacardi moves quickly away back into the center and uh, then starts his own advance and uh, it's very tactical start but between both boxers here and uh, Bacardi easing his way into this contest. But uh, he's uh, going to push forward. And uh, a significant blow so far as Bacardi just picking him off again. And coming forward there with a combination of his opponent. And, uh, the break there. Once again, he's going. Just edging forward, not willing to uh, throw the punch early on. Got in a good position there, but Bicardi just leaned back and uh, once again sets himself up nicely in a position with the, the body shot and a high shot, two high shots. Quick combination there, catching Goyan. Once again, bit open twice there, dropping the, uh, the guard slightly and uh, rattled somewhat. More controlled approach from. Uh, and there's the end of the first round, and uh, the first round that you feel uh, Chenzo Bacardi. Uh, very controlled boxing, not uh, getting involved, getting in close, staying away from his opponent. When forced into the corner, moving quickly and taking up a good position, throwing the, the better punches. And for Goyan, certainly needs to get uh, in there and uh, opponent hit the target. And uh, at the moment, he's not doing that, and he took a cut. There was one where uh, Bicardi just leaned away from him, ducked down, was straight up there, maybe just behind the other one as well, just on the side of the head, and then just reduces the, the capacity of the, the opponent. Coming in there, the little reducer. But uh, you can see there, that both players are in great, uh, both uh, the second round gets underway. With the High stance and drawing uh, Goyan towards him. And uh, as I said, five rounds of three minutes. And uh, just as we said before, gives it to uh, but at the same time to land those uh, those scoring blows. And uh, this is more what Goyan wants. He wants it rough and both competitors opening up there and Goyan in this uh, second half, uh, second uh, Half of this uh, second there and uh, disrupt uh, the form of uh, Picardi. Local fans raise their voices, of course. Cheering on there, man. They don't want. They want to see him open up a little bit. Be a bit spectacular. He is there. That's it. He's uh, covering up very well there, Goyan. Again, a bit of a wild swing there from. Uh, and uh, Bacardi moves in on stairs looking for the, the body blows just to weaken his opponent but, uh, such a high level already in this uh, competition this, uh, this bout as we expected a little bit scrappy there for a moment and uh, 
And got them just at the moment. Both uh, boxers are showing each other a little bit too much respect. So we'd want to see uh, Goyam open up, and he is not. And they're forgetting the friendship. Uh, foes for five rounds, and uh, they can have a good chat after it's all over. And at the moment, they're there to score the points. Goyan just uh, covering up well. He's edging in here. You know, he wants to get in close himself. Bit of grappling as well. But uh, Picardi just wants to keep it open, keep his opponent at distance. Force a jab. And look for... Uh, a big right of his. Again, sent himself up, and that's a good do what was coming. Ducked out of the way of uh, the side of the head. Another good blow there from uh, the Italian. Just edging it here. Just starting to pick his opponent off. And there's the end of the second. And similar to the first, where uh, Riccardi just. Uh, was able to a few jabs to the head and then come in and uh, score some good good shots. You just feel that he's edging it at the moment. And he knows that he's got to lift his uh, lift his game. As, uh, we'll push forward, become more aggressive, we feel, as we head into the... Damiani just uh, barking out some orders there. Asking there to throw a few more rights. We saw there that it was... Uh, that brought the, the scoring punches was the right the right jab and again but Goyan just keeps coming forward but, uh, third round you can see how close it is with um, Bicardi just edging ahead they want to keep keep moving when he knows that uh, Goyan's going to try corner and um, when he started to rough him up a bit. And there was an excellent effort there from uh, Goen. Wonderful shot over the top again. And just uh, brought Bacardi in. And now he's going into the, the grappling. And uh, once again, the referee just uh, coming over. Doesn't want to see that uh, holding there. Pulling his opponent down there from Goyan. Again, goes for a bit of a wild swing. Uh, as yet, Goyan unable to get those combinations going. A good shot again from uh, Picardi. Once again, we've seen just picks off his opponent. The right over the top comes through the left there again. Once again, Goyan. It's close in. It's in a body punch there. To open up, catches him. And again, he's there quickly, but there's uh, Goyan dragging his opponent to the, the canvas. Another very even round. And uh, Bacardi moved quickly there. Big swing of the left. Wants to get that left going. Bar. Once again, goes in with a body punch there to the to the corner. And it's where we're into the third round, and, uh, and then the energy levels uh, start to go a little bit. And Bacardi again just stumbled there, but, um, got in the scoring uh, shot again once more with the the right, just leaning back, catching Goyan. Come a little bit of a wrestling match, at the moment. And, uh, there's nothing Bacardi can do about that. Goyan's been very physical. Once again, the referee just has a little word. And uh, get back to the boxing. We're just uh, this round a little bit scrappy compared to the other two. Goyan again becoming uh, aggressive. Just can't land that big punch. Cardi once more keeps him at... Uh, Arm's length, and uh, certainly the end of this third round. Friendship's gone right out of the ring. Looks very, very close. And uh, Damiani there, we hear, uh, saying he's enjoying the way 
is, uh, is strong and not being there, drawn into the, the grappling war. And uh, it's the jabs at the moment that are doing the damage. Just uh, as we see Cardi dragged to the, the canvas. But when he does, when he hit the space, he can get the, uh, the jab in there. And there, there's the three times where he went. And now towards uh, Picardi. He got that third round with a very, some very small Natalia Thunder man. In this fourth round, you may just see Picardi trying to move a little bit more. Goins expended a lot of energy. Chasing his man round, trying to get in close. It hasn't worked. And once again, Picardi. Again, goes for the body blow. Comes downstairs again, looking for the jab, protecting himself, especially around the rib area. And again, moves quickly and unleashes a, a really fast, but once again, how quick he is on his feet. Well, just finding his range now in the, the fourth round, Bicardi. forward again, Goyam forced back. And uh, Picardi being a lot more aggressive now. Just wanted, knowing that uh, probably is uh, ahead in his own mind as well. And he's uh, leading and he wants to ram home that advantage in this fourth round, make it very difficult in the fifth for his opponent. Once again, protecting himself well as Goyan. Once more, We're talking about that upper body strength from Goyan, he's been using it to, maybe not to great effect as he, he's just been uh, throwing his uh, opponent to the ground. The Italian fans are unhappy about that. They want to see a little bit more boxing. Picardi again takes a swing, a little bit cu cut there just uh, below the, the right eye. As he was... Uh, That's better. Good shot there from Goyan. He's starting just to open up a little bit, and uh, Bicardi needs to be careful here. Drawn into that war of attrition that he didn't want to be. And now we're seeing a real contest. Goyan knows that he's behind. He knows he's going to have to go for it, and he's swinging everything. There's arms and the elbow there as well. And the referee again, the warning. And uh, another cut appears on Bicardi's face. I don't know if that came from uh, the glove, or maybe that swinging uh, forearm. Rough and tumble world in the World Series of Boxing as well as uh, the technique. And uh, Goen's come back here to, to Milan, back to Italy, looking to make a statement. For German Eagles, there goes the bell for round four. And round four was more up Goen Street more of a brawl, the closer in there, used his strength. And uh, certainly Damiani saying to his, uh, his man there that uh, in the, the fifth round, he's got to get back to uh, staying his distance and his movement, his speed as he did in the third. He didn't do that in the fourth and he was uh, rattled. He was thrown around a little bit, roughed up and he knows it. Didn't want to get involved in that, and he was caught there as well. That was an excellent uh, left there from Goyan. He had his mantle just at the top of the head. Now look how close it is. You see Goyan, he knows he's on, the, he's on the rise. He knows he can come into this fifth round and really go for it. It's up to Bicardi to, to, uh, to box smartly. to keep his distance, he's caught again, that's an extra right from Goyan, another extra right from Goyan, he's really stepping it up, he's going for the, the combination, the left and right. He now knows he's going to have to go toe for toe, for toe here, and he's going to land a few big punches himself. And, uh, there's a little trip, it's getting rough between the, the two friends here, as it always expected, there's a little edge. Uh, Goyan caught there, and that's good from uh, Picardi. He made sure that it got out of the way of a flailing swing there from his opponent. Got him in the corner, but couldn't uh, really ram home the advantage. Back of the head again. 
And the jabs come in. Moving here, looking for the jab, and does it again. Excellent jab on the left there from the Italian. Comes in with the right, looks for the combination. And uh, caught on the side of the head there by Goyen. He's not putting one last effort in, he's coming forward, just head down. And a little tractor, another swing that came there across the shoulder. He just wants to land one of those big punches, and he does there again with the the right. And if we make sure that they break. 120 left in the round. It's Goyen who's being aggressive. Judges like that as well. He's really made a statement. Very impressive. Once again, Hardy just gets a shot away, gets another away. Goyen keeps coming forward. Wait again, gets him to break. Hitting a shot to the back of the head, Don't score. Once again, tiredness really setting in. Boyan gets a left in there. Rattles Bicardi again. Bicardi. Bicardi comes forward once more. And this is an excellent first part for us. Aggression from both boxers all the way through and not held back it's been a bruising contest heading towards the last 20 seconds home fans trying to cheer their man home and it's going to be a close call this and again just looking for one last throw of the die but uh, both boxers on their last legs one feels and there goes the bear for a wonderful contest. Picardi feels that he's won it. Boyan goes straight to his corner. And uh, it's going to be very close. We'll find out what the, uh, the judges have given. And uh, well, it was. Uh, Different sí. styles coming es together there. With a lot of the, uh, the rough and tumble just trying to take the energy away from uh, Picardi here, but uh, still uh, breathing heavily, but uh, still looks in good shape as both boxers do. And we saw there Picardi, he was uh, the one who got the combinations going, which will, will have impressed the, uh, the judges. There was a couple of times when there were the, the shots to the back of the head. But um, overall, it was uh, a really aggressive encounter, very competitive. And uh, I'm going to find out uh, now what the, the judges have decided in about one here in Milan. The uh, WSB between Dolce Gabbana, Italia Thunder, and German Eagles. Friends now, but uh, referee allora, separating them. Split decision. Judge one. Split decision. We've got here. Forty-eight. Judge two. Forty-eight. Forty-seven. Judge three. Forty-seven. Forty-eight. Vince all'angolo blu. Baslav Gojan. And Gongan's got it. Goyan's got it and uh, unbelievable look of shock there on Picardi's face. He cannot believe it. Look how close it was. 47, 48, 48, 47, 47, 48. And uh, well, you've got to accept the decision of the judges. Vincenzo Picardi, he's uh, got very emotional. He's almost in tears. He doesn't want to, to uh, congratulate his opponent. And what a start it is for the uh, German Eagles have taken the first bout. And uh, Vincenzo Picardi is still in the ring. He's uh, looking around. You can't believe it. He's taken off the robe and he's out of the ring. And uh, what a dramatic start here in Milan this evening. The home favourite has gone down 
to defeat on a split decision. It was very close. He's certainly in the, the first three rounds he was leading, but the, towards the end of that third round, uh, certainly the uh, German Eagles man came back into it, and uh, the final two rounds, his aggression came through, and he takes the contest. It's one up for German Eagles. So what a start for us here tonight, here at the uh, Mediolanum Forum in Milan. And uh, the first black mark goes through Vincenzo Picardi. He goes down on a split decision.